Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Hi, this is Adam Levkoff. And this is Kaylee George. Today we'll be watching semifinal group two of Papa 14 World Championships. Uh, in this group we have Andre Masenkoff as the top seed, Robert Gagno as the second seed, Josh Sharp as the third seed, and the bottom seed is Jim Belsito. Uh, Kaylee, we, uh, all these guys have made it through the quarters now and they're into the semis. Uh, is there more pressure or less pressure now? Uh, there's definitely a lot more pressure right now. Everybody's uh, excited to have made it through that first round. Uh, they're not one and done on Sunday. And uh, they're all thinking about making that final four at Papa. If they make it through this round, they'll be there. So everybody's uh, going to try and strategize their way through these three games. Hopefully make it to uh, that final four and a shot at the world championship title. All righty. Probably only two of them from this group can get through. Although with the Papa scoring, anything's possible. Uh, the first game we're going to watch is on Spider-Man. All four of these players uh, actually played Spider-Man in the quarterfinals. Josh and Robert played it quite well. Andre and Jim did not have much luck in their group, so we'll see if they have uh, better luck uh, today. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the game. Okay, so our first player is Robert Gagno, which means he probably chose this game. Here goes Robert. He's in the uh, there. Plunged it out. Oh, that was weird. It uh, didn't go up top. Yeah, it was interesting. It looked like he went for a full plunge, and it rattled up there. Uh, luckily, he's got control of it. Oh, that's good. That's and good. Uh, there we get a good view of uh, Robert's head. I think we'll be seeing a lot of Robert's head. Uh, he likes to lean over the game a bit more than some players, so uh, get used to that. Trying a little post catch there. Yeah, and he's uh, kind of doing the standard thing here, shooting into that right shot into Doc Ock. Uh, make his way towards some multi-balls and uh, see if he can backhand it here or maybe he'll post pass. Let's see. Robert really likes to take his time sometimes. He'll stop, analyze, figure things out, make a shot. Ooh, and, he was uh, lucky to get control back again. Those slings can be deadly. Yep, hitting the blue nubs of death under Doc Ock. Still can't get that backhand down. Sling, sling. <laughs> so much awesome luck bouncing around in those slings, it doesn't just power out lane. Having good fortune right now, let's see if he can dial into the shot. Alright, third time's the charm, here we go. It's more like five, but oh, he kind of rattles it in. Alright, so nice. Fusion is ready, let's see uh, if he does another... Oh, very nice. Fancy. There's a pretty pretty perfect post catch, push on this uh, really bouncy Spider-Man, and there he goes, multi-ball. Okay, awesome. so that's, uh, that's always what you look for on ball one on Spider-Man, is to get that first multi-ball out of the way. Let's see if he starts working on his uh, lock, lock target now. Yep, so uh, yeah, you'll see a lot of players uh, shoot that left uh, lock target, uh, try and get some locks towards the other multi-ball. Hopefully when you come out of this one, you can start up another or uh, stack them together. He seems to be wanting to drop his visor first for Sandman. Finally got it down. There he goes. Well, you know, if you talk to Robert about Spider-Man, he thinks Sandman is uh, the lucrative way to go. So I'm not surprised watching him uh, just pound away on Sandman. Let's see if he shows good patience here, if he's going to flip upper and then hold on to those two balls. Here he comes oh. around. Yeah, kind of had the Spider-Man pose there. One ball on the left and shooting the uh, spinner, but uh, gave that up for a ramp shot. Everything's out of control, and oh, look at <laughs> that! Two in lane, very nice. He's got to get control. Nope. Oof. Ooh, nearly loses the second one. Bounced it off the top of his head there, right on his left flipper. Excellent. Okay, so he's got one lock. Uh, let's see what he goes right back to Doc Ock now. We've seen quite a few forehand rejections, although from a full cradle, it seems like there he goes. You can make that very shot. Nice. All right, so let's see if you can get that post catch again here. Oh, nice. Yep, it's good. That's that's, uh, that's a very tough shot uh, to be able to catch over and over, and that's uh, two in a row for Robert. And another backhand shot, so it seems to be dialing in well. Yep, more consistent with that backhand. Oh, there's a, a little kind of flubbed post, post catch, but uh, oh, oh makes, uh, on the fly. Wow, yes. great. That's uh, most of those shots have been rejecting. So, uh, ooh, there's a good one. Robert feeling it right now. So, uh, oh, a little wide. 
No, and back in again. It's getting a lot of good in lineage. Oh, he's uh, in the awesome. slings again. Oh, oh look. nice. That was a good nudge. That was a good, uh, very early, recognized oh, the danger, and yep, again. nothing you can do there. Uh, not a bad first ball. That's a, that's a good way to start getting out of the gate as player one. Yeah, I think it's rare to see that, that actually level of control with a nudge from Robert. Usually he goes a bit overboard and just kind of rage tilts. So uh, Jim Belsito had no luck last time he played Spider-Man. Let's see if he uh, can do... Oh, no, <laughs> no luck again. Oh, my God. I think that's how his last game started, the old sling right out lane. So you wow. see those slings can be dangerous, although Robert seemed to have good luck with them. That's tough. So our uh, third player here is Josh Sharp. Yeah, it's interesting playing this with uh, no ball save. Uh, you know, you're really uh, put in a position. you got to get the ball in the flipper. Oof. And Josh nearly... Wow. Uh, Josh Sharp. Oh, we get to see a bit of Josh. Yeah, Josh Sharp, Sharp move. Whack it up uh, mid-play field on the side of the cabinet. Liked it. As we know, this uh, <laughs> Spider-Man can be quite temperamental from a uh, tilt standpoint. We've seen lots of tilts on this thing, so... Uh, you got to be really uh, careful with your nudging and your slapping. Definitely. All right, up in the pops, going to the ramp. Nice shot. Trying to stuff it back in Doc Ock and bricked it off the B nod into a nice little trap. There we go. Oh, oh again, miss. And uh, Josh, very deliberate player, uh, likes to stop regularly and wipe the hands. Definitely. Also likes to uh, scream at himself when things aren't going well. Yeah, so we don't have the audio is uh, turned off for this, which uh, I, I, I got to listen to the raw tape, and there is, uh, it's quite amusing. Maybe uh, <laughs> our sound producer, uh, Mark Steinman, will uh, put together a little uh, tape of some of Josh's statements during this game. <laughs> we can actually hear Josh in all the other games uh, pop up going on at the same time, too. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, so here we are. We're in, uh, in that multi-ball. It was short-lived. Didn't make any progress, really, on uh, on Black Suit multi-ball. Uh, no, and I think Josh said, darn it, when that ball drained yep. out right after the ball saver. Oof. But hey, some uh, couple hits on uh, Doc. And uh, you know, just a few more till his next uh, Doc Ock multi-ball. He doesn't. It looked like, I'm not sure whether he's trying to post-catch here or maybe holding up it. it he's going up pretty early. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm I think he's sure. kind of trying. You know, we've seen before in the Spider-Man where it's catching some interesting spin on that on that uh, flipper rubber. And I think he's trying to, oh, and a tilt. Yeah, you know, he wow. had two dangers there. And it looked like he just flipped a bit hard on a little slap save. And this thing, it just can't. Once it starts swinging, you really can't do anything else. Yeah. That was worth it, worth the effort. I mean, his bonus was nothing. He, and he made about as much progress as Robert did uh, in the yeah. lead. And okay, so our last player here is Andre, uh, who, like Jim, also had no luck. Oh, oh my goodness, man. again. Both those guys start the same way they started the quarters. Well, you know, you, you missed that on-the-fly shot to the left spinner, and you hit the lock at full speed, uh, that lock target. I, I think that's a... You know your average outcome. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's true. So we're uh, we're back to Robert now on ball two. He's got some and, uh, a little miss on Doc Ock there. See if he can uh, get control. Oh, Ooh. very nice. Backhand and bank bust is ready. And see that. Oh, see that's what Josh was trying to do right there. Just a little. Oh, interesting. Uh, a rejection from uh, the magnet. Oh, and a second wow. rejection. You know, sometimes sometimes it gets some air off that uh, that magnet and can skip the opto. That might have happened. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I think what happens is uh, Robert actually calls over uh, Kevin Martin to make a ruling, and uh, I think he's got a case here. I mean, those were two solid shots that should have triggered the magnet. Yep. And, and, uh, uh, major malfunction. Replay the whole match. <laughs> and uh, Kevin says, basically, you know, uh, it's playing the same for everyone, and uh, it seems to work occasionally, so we're going to play on. Yeah. And, no no uh, need to do anything until let's see if Robert can hit it again. There he goes. All right. Problem so, solved. That was a good call from Kevin, and, uh, you know, it was good from Robert to, uh, to question it. Cause, uh, <laughs> and then there goes Robert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was that? 
The ball went all the way around. Well, you know, Robert's talking to someone on the side while it plunges his ball, and uh, here his uh, his uh, you know his time is uh, ticking down on bank right. bust. Kaylee, we got to talk about this because he's not attempting to knock that ball off. All he's attempting to do is work the uh, extra ball saver to light his uh, locks for regular. Um, do you would you do that on uh, strategy wise? I don't know. I mean. You're trading ball saver for base jackpot value on bank bus, which can. But be your 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 ball saver time isn't more lengthy because you haven't started the multi ball. I mean, you haven't knocked the ball off the magnet yet. Uh, I think it is though. I don't believe your ball your ball saver time starts until the ball comes off the magnet. So I think if you choose not to knock the ball off, you can in fact get uh, a few extra seconds of swinging around. But you're losing the uh, the a good bank bus base jackpot by doing that because the quicker you knock that ball off the higher the jackpot value yeah. well you know that could be very uh very good strategy on robert's part i mean the base bu bank bus jackpot is kind of garbage you have to hit every shot on the play field to like the super it's kind of annoying uh you often get a lot more points in this multi-ball by doing other things like stacking black suit in with it or building a high spinner value blowing up sandman so, uh, you know, making those lock shots, uh, I think it's a pretty good choice here. Well, and okay, and Robert's definitely uh, getting the payoff from that because now he does have his bank bus stacked with his first black suit. And uh, he's got all four balls still in play here. He's getting Sandman hits. He's getting Green Goblin hits. He's getting some good points from this. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so down to two balls up, and there goes There's the last an one. for you. They don't always go for me. There's slings. Ah, it's a lovely catch. Still pretty uh, pretty nice multi ball. It's up to about 43 million. And, uh, yeah, out to a very nice lead. Now there's a bit of a desert now to get to that next multi ball. It can definitely <laughs> be a little challenging. Yep, armed with the docks up next, uh, the dock ox shot. And uh, definitely uh, the better of the three multi balls. And uh, six more hits. Quite, uh, quite some wood chop in there. Oh, and a funky post catch. And slowly get it back. Still got the slings. Oh, he's getting oh, some oh. good green gobblage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Very back nice. to control. He seems uh, comfortable with the forehand. I haven't really seen a forehand rejection other than when the magnet didn't fire. So uh, I'm not sure what uh, what's bothering Robert. There, there's Robert holding up his hand with the... Uh, what? What? Why is it doing that? Did it look like he was just trying to post pass there? Uh, yeah, he's that? trying to he's trying to throw it over, but uh, the forehand. Guessing he's going to give up and forehand okay. it. Yep. Oh, okay, and of course he got the reject that time because I just mentioned it. Nice call. That was great that he put it up that uh, that left orbit when the ball came over. It had a bunch of spin coming towards the right flipper. If he had tried to post catch right there, the ball was going to go crazy. Nice backhand. Let's see if we can catch. Oh, kind of a little post pass. <laughs> oh, and the nice live catch after. That, yep. uh, Perfect. The, the post catch really is not very dangerous, and that's almost the worst thing that can happen right there. Yeah, exactly what we saw there. It's kind of, you know, you flub it, you get a post pass either left or a hard one that comes left right and uh, comes into a trap. I love that Robert grabs the ball and just gives it a second or two with weights. You know, you see a lot of players, they'll trap up and just instantly, uh, you know, shoot and uh, absolutely. Know, some players, that's a, that's a rhythm, but you know, I like that rest period, and it's it's uh, pretty awesome that Robert does that. And there's a uh, you know, there's a fair amount of spin on the ball, and if you don't wait uh, to let that ball settle, there still can be all sorts of uh, different influences on the spin of the ball that can affect your shot. So, Definitely. Uh, I always uh, recommend for newer players to absolutely make that ball come to a complete stop and not just sort of a half stop. All right, let's see. Two more for arm to the duck. So this is some good wood chopping to get to yeah. his next multi-ball here, and he's only on ball two. So, oh, look at that. Only one more shot. So he's almost assured himself of a four-ball multi-ball here. No progress on the second black suit. So we'll see if he uh, works towards second black suit. Oh, in the oh and a oh, brick. Oh, wow. <laughs> no he's lucky just, in lane there. Well, I should have a pretty good bonus, but that's, uh, that's an excellent ball from Robert. Uh, way to take the lead. Let's see. All right, here's Jim's ball two. He's basically had no flip time, ball one. Uh, he hit one Sandman 
target. And now he's hit a second Sandman target. Okay, he's got it on the flipper. All right, that's good. Probably going to see a backhand. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right. Now let's see if Jim likes to do the post-catch or whether he... Uh, let's see what he likes to do. He's just going to pull it up and... Let's see. Nice. All right, so he was trying to go for the... Oh, and another... Jim gets more rejects from Doc Ock than everybody else, but... Oh, get out of the get, get in the oh, missed orbit. Can he re can he recover? <laughs> oh uh, god, that, that oh man, large left out lane and just a couple little nudges there. Uh, with the post out there, it's really difficult to bring a ball that's uh, bring a ball back from that left out lane. Yeah, man, it's just get unlucky in those out lanes and it's just punishing. It's uh, five balls for Jim on Spider Man in the uh, tournament. Uh, without really any any luck, let's uh, let's see how Josh does on his second ball. All right, Josh building towards bank bust. Two more shots. And uh, oh, he's trying. I think you're right. He's definitely trying to do the uh, stopping on the rubber, put a little backspin on the ball. Yeah, there's a catch you can do with kind of an earlier flip than a post catch, which just kind of barely influences the ball. And seeing as it's almost cradling up on its own, like we saw with Jim. I think that's a, a good try on Josh's part. Uh, so he's got his bank bust ready. And, uh, see, it worked that time, I assume. I couldn't well, see, really see, see Josh happened. put his head over the flipper to hide it from the other players, so they couldn't really see what he was doing. A little bit of strategy. <laughs> yeah, that was very clever, especially with the overhead cameras now so uh, prevalent in matches. you got to <laughs> take every advantage that you can think of. All right, so we're in bank bus now, and let's. I'm sure Josh is going to be working towards his black suit as well, just like Robert did. And nice. That would be. I want to say probably. And oh, there's a second. Two. Okay. And there's the uh, the screams. Uh, I'm sure there were quite a few screams going on. He's got uh, black suit is ready. He's got one drain, and he's right now talking to himself heavily. Well, he's thinking, oh, boy, I real. Oh. Give me the ball so I can lock it. Oh, uh, you know, I don't, he's uh, trying to Josh. stack Give it. Give it to me. No, I don't think there's a stack anymore. He lost his bank bus. Oh, God, indeed, Josh. Oh, God. <laughs> but the good news is, of course, now he can uh, work towards uh, arm the dock during this multi-ball because, uh, you, you know, crisscrossing your multi-balls is not the worst thing to have happen. Yeah, I mean, the bad thing that happened there was that his bank bust was short-lived. It's not that big of an issue that he didn't stack Black Suit, because, you know, one of the one of the great things about this game is setting up one multi-ball to just happen right after the other, and you pretty much have very little single-ball playtime. But I think he was definitely... I, I think it was on his mind he really wanted to stack, based upon the shot selection sure, he was yeah, doing. Sure, yeah, definitely. He obviously was, was hoping the stack could happen. Um, and I, he was pretty fortunate to, you know... Uh, not drain on that because the ball was in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. At the end. Uh, so he's having taken a moment now. I don't know if he has a water off to the side. It looks like maybe. Here. So I'm sure Kevin Martin has his stopwatch checking the 30 second balls. There's the nice backhand to pick up the. There's his extra ball. Five nice million. little five mil pickup. I don't think Robert has picked his up yet. He must still need to complete something. Probably Green Goblin. Or perhaps no. Josh showing good patience here. Little flick. Nice. Oh, oh dear. Almost the two ball drain pilot error. Nearly. Yeah, that was almost simultaneous, but uh, he, I'm sure he would love to have that little flick back. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Again. That's, uh, man. Oof. He, <laughs> I think he's going to take a moment here because that's a couple I of pretty much pilot error uh, mistakes there, especially that last one. He was he put the flipper up a little earlier than he should have and uh, put the ball right into the sling. Yep, Josh almost crashed his plane into the mountain right there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's definitely, he's, I think he's got some water there because it looks like he's taking a drink. So. Yeah, all right. Okay. You know, he only has two wide arrows left too, and I know nobody's paying attention to their wide arrows the way this thing plays, but I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Yep, you know, it's... Uh it would be great to see somebody uh, multiply up one of these shots. But, uh, oh, my oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you could hear the audio, because when Josh isn't, uh, when the ball's flailing around a bit, uh, it's it's quite. Uh, oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, entertaining. Ooh, only one more wide up. arrow. All right, yep, yeah, one more. I think, I think that would be worthwhile to shoot for at this point. 
absolutely put a 2x on a shot. And oh, reject on a dock. I mean, dock is rejecting. It's Why not shoot the ramp? Yeah. Absolutely. That was a nice little uh, slap save without much movement. There's a nice. stick. But I would still love for him to uh, use that multiplier before starting arm the dock if it gets there. Okay. There's that secret trap again. We assume the ball is just stopping, but we have no way to know unless there's a uh, play field camera that Mark hasn't told us about. It's a backhand. He's, he's definitely getting a little more comfortable now. Let's see what he's doing. There it is. There. Yeah. That's yep. the little mini catch we're talking about. And uh, I think that's definitely aided by the... Uh, the Funky rubbers that were on yep. this game. Yeah, those rubbers are uh, super sticky and definitely uh, help make that possible. Yeah, that's an uh, excellent adjustment from Josh to uh, pick up on that and do it so well. Yeah, and he just had a nice little, uh, a nice little drop catch there. It was a little bit delayed, which caused the ball to uh, pop up and let him trap up after that. It's a great way to put the ball into a trap call from a flipper on the same side. And we'll take a 30-second break. Yeah. Consulting with uh, his brother, perhaps? I don't believe there's coaching during the ball. So. <laughs> so that would just be uh, Zach. Oh, he actually tried a little post catch that time. I wonder yeah. if he went early for the, uh, I don't know what to call that other thing. Yeah, Back no, that would be, uh, I think he just hit it a little bit late. Didn't quite get what he was doing before. Ooh, tried a little right. bow and flick. Hit it tall. Nice. I like the lane pass here because you can't. Other than I'd love for him to pick up his white arrow. Nice little cabinet knock. Not sure it did anything, but we'll never know. <laughs> oh, he's he's okay. Well, <laughs> and lit a lit uh, lit the lock off some nice uh, air bounces there. <laughs> okay, so uh, he can forehand the dock. He could try to backhand the lock, uh, or he could pick up his white arrow. That's I love Spider Man. Wow. There's so many things to do. My, my my taste would be backhanding the left loop for the lock shot. It's uh, it's so doable on Spider Man. It's, uh, Oh, and yes, he went for it. I'm oh, excited. and nearly paid the price. <laughs> uh, okay, has he learned his lesson, or does he stick to the plan? Oh, he's going to try it again. Let's he's pro. See. There we yeah. go, one more try. Oh, my goodness. But every miss into the slings is deadly. Oh, okay. secret trap. There we All go. Right. So now, now obviously, he's going back to the backhand on Doc Doc. Not nah, forehand that lock. Come on. Yeah. I don't <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice shot. Right, very nice. Okay, so arm the dock is ready, and I would love for him to 2x that shot. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't let that bounce oh, over. Yeah. But that one, okay. He's fine. So we see, I assume he'll just go right into multi ball here, like everyone else, <laughs> after having a drink. And you know, this comes back to what uh, you were asking about earlier. You know, in the second round of finals at Pop, uh, people are start taking their time, uh, slowing the game down. Uh, making sure you can really uh, take the time to make the shots you want. And, uh, that's exactly and not only Josh that, of course, it. you're keeping your opponents uh, off the machine for a bit longer as well. Yep, icing them out. Uh, especially when you're having a good ball and uh, a couple guys are only on a couple million points. Uh, it doesn't hurt to take as long as you need. Yeah, that's All right. definitely correct. So here we are, armed at the dock. And... Uh, Picked up his lock. Let's see if uh, Josh is going to try and light more locks or if he's going to go for some supers. I see, see a lot of Green Goblin during ball save and uh, some Sandman. And you got to think he's thinking uh, Battle Royale at some point. Yep, yeah, he's getting he's getting, uh, getting reasonably close. And, uh, you know, you can make uh, you can make progress during multi-ball. So that's definitely and This is a four-ball multi-ball, so you really don't want to bring Black Suit in too quickly. Uh no, but you know, you're also making choices here about what you expect the other players to be able to achieve. And, uh, you know, stacking up early is uh, better than never getting it at all. Yep. But uh, he has now stacked in uh, his second black suit. Yep. And uh, he's getting excellent value on his shots to Sandman and Green Goblin and a fair amount of venom, too. And yeah, the great thing about this multi ball is uh, every shot builds uh, jackpots towards super at Doc Ock. Um, so you can pretty much uh, shoot what you're comfortable with, and you're going to be building sorts of big points at the dock up shot. And there he goes. Hits the super right there. Nice little uh, backhand. And uh, we'll see here. It's going to be worth uh, a nice amount of points. A million and a half. A million, not so much. So, 
Right. Still got three going. Yeah. Nice uh, open play here. Right. Oh, just never say got I'd a chance. expect to see him trap a ball up when he gets down yeah. to two, but really kind of went from three to one. Which will happen. Go for that wide arrow. Nope. Back to uh, Fusion. Here we are. And uh, getting close to battle. Looks like we have a Green Goblin to go before Battle Royale. And so I think we'll see another, uh, yeah, another Dockhawk here and uh, maybe work on Goblin during that and get it going. Yeah, he seems to have lost the, uh, stopped in the ball on the fly there, but it hasn't uh, bothered him too much. Oh, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd like to see a little more patience there. I think either one of those two, uh, Kaylee would have stopped on his flipper. I think he bailed on it a bit early. Yeah, you know, this uh, this thing's so touchy, though, and so bouncy. Like, <laughs> I don't blame him for uh, just getting getting the ball out of there when it's being squirrely. Yeah, you know, the further off it gets to the end of the flipper, the, the higher it has to go up. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's not a linear function. It actually is, uh, you know, asymptotic. That's very true. Oh, I just said asymptotic. Yeah. What, you've been saving that for every commentary we've been doing for about yeah, months Yeah, I've been here. wanting to drop the asymptotic bomb for a while. But, you know, when we have a 37-minute uh, Spider-Man game, we uh, we got to go deep cuts. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're looping back around here on Doc Ock. Multi-ball's lit. Fusion's lit, and I agree. I expect to see some Green Goblin hits nice in shot. this. Right, and there we go, right to the target bank, goblin hit. Seven, three more to go. All right, and nice, Sandman. That was good Sandman's points, look worth, at that. Yeah, One million six. six. Sandman's worth just as much as that uh, arm to the dock super was. <laughs> <laughs> Shows what I know. All right, and the ramp. Perfect, and here we go. All right, let's see if backhand, he can even time it. Yeah. Very That's nice. Great shot. Well, unlucky on that one. Ooh, but got lucky on the... Uh, there's a little... Oh, yeah. Lucky oh, at the floor. that was nice. The other ball just happened to come in and knock the other one out of a center grain position. So, uh, yeah, he was able to survive there. All right. There's another hit. There and he goes. one more. There oh, it is. Ooh, a little purple light flashing in the center there. Battle Royale's lit on any loop. So it's time for the ball to drain. But you're only on ball two. So uh, excellent work from Josh. It's not, It's great to have Battle Royale in hand going to ball three. Oh, yeah. Huge intimidation. Uh, 136 million, too. And Andre is at uh, 1 million, uh, 800,000 right now. So let's see if Andre can get something going here. Andre's had very little opportunity to put anything together. So uh, very nice shot on the fly to Doc Ock. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he can just start that multi-ball and shake off the cobwebs here and, uh, you know, start putting Ooh, these together. Well, he got a warning there. He flipped too hard, or <laughs> he's got a... Andre, Andre does like to move the game around. Uh, he's got to really go light on this thing, though, with the way that tilt is. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and uh, I'm not sure if Andre's so comfortable with the uh, post-catch, I think. No, it looks like he's going on the fly. It looked like he was going straight to the spinner, actually. Yeah. I think we'll see uh, Andre going for that when he has... Uh, on the fly shots coming down that right end lane. I don't know whether the way this game is set up, it really uh, fits his style very well, because I think this game really does best with a real stop and go uh, attitude on Doc Ock, and Andre really likes to just keep it going, flowing, make the shots. Yeah, when you're down to two balls and a multi ball, uh, keeping them both going can be pretty risky in Spider Man. Um, it's really Especially easy to have those drains that just power yeah. everything out. With the uh, no posts on the out lanes. Oh, oh. and yeah, You know, uh, he, he did shake it right before that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and he had used up one of his warnings earlier, so uh, unlucky for Andre in multiball to tilt out. That's, yeah, that's uh, pretty, I mean, that's got to be frustrating. You don't feel like you're intentionally um, trying to manipulate the machine and you end up getting tilts like that. But, you know, it's, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, so Robert, there he goes. Now is uh, arm the dock. Uh, it's four balls. We'll see whether he gets to that second black suit or not. And uh, Robert, too, needs to be thinking about uh, Battle Royale with Josh sitting on it, waiting for it uh, on ball three. Yeah, and Robert's got uh, a Venom and a Green Goblin to go. You can see uh, 
in the uh, inserts there on the center of the play field that Venom and Green Goblin were both half lit, which means that they've uh, each been done once out of the two times needed for Battle Royale. I don't really see Robert going for anything in particular right now. He's uh -huh. trying to trap up as an and shoot spinner. Okay. Now spinner here in this multi ball with two trapped or trapping up on the other side is a great idea, but shooting for the venom ramp eh, is that's okay. tough. All right, there's a super jackpot and a spinner shot. No, that was interesting. That was like an on the fly shot to Doc Ock. Didn't look like a post catch at all. Much. Just trying to cradle separate here or go. Yeah, it's, I think it's better to pick up a green goblin on the back end there. Yeah. So, uh, some good. Oh, nice little freebie goblin there. Yeah, nice little micro <laughs> flipping there, keeping track of things. Good work. Going He's got the lock. lock lit. And look at this ball. Cradled yeah, up. That's good. Oh, I think he was going for the lock shot there. I did too, uh, and he's getting a lot of good green goblins on the miss. <laughs> well, so. making uh, goblin progress, shooting for the lock is always helpful. Oh, look, and now he's going on the fly. That was really, uh, yeah, that's interesting decisions here, putting both balls in play. And uh, that's Sam Man nonetheless. And he's lost. And there we go, and there goes multi ball. Yep. Oof, good little slap shoot there. Yeah, no, it's surprising because Robert usually is very deliberate in multi-ball, especially when he's down to two balls there. So I'm surprised to see him uh, hit that other one. He had it cradled on the left, and he went ahead and... Yeah. Um, well, here you can see uh, Goblin's lit now. So uh, he's done with that and go on to Venom shots uh, to get to Battle Royale. And uh, he has one white arrow left there. Kaylee on the right yeah, side. Right orbit. Uh, and I feel like I have not seen Robert put a single thought towards... Uh, lighting that, so I suspect we won't see him shoot for it. You know, he's at 72 million, and Josh is 130. Josh has got uh, over 50 million on him with Battle Royale in hand. I would think a 2x shot uh, would definitely help you uh, close that gap. Yeah, that would be huge. That would put Robert Even. in a great position to get some gigantic points. Uh, you know, I would think maybe 2x the, I don't know, Battle Royale shot. <laughs> that would be sweet. Nice little backhand. All right, so I think uh, Roberts is going to try and go for uh, another multi-ball here and uh, to try and pick up those Venom hits to light battle. That was Bowen-esque in the uh, control of the ball there, making it stop on the end of the flipper. He certainly has the backhand down. Two more shots to go. Huh? I just kind of lost his post catch in this ball. It's not quite working out as well. Oh, sad man. All right, just a couple more hits on Fusion. Right backhand, missing the B nod. And wow, that was a friendly slingshot. I thought for sure that was going to kick it into the left <laughs> into the left out lane. I'm sure uh, if it was Jim Belcito, that's what would have happened. <laughs> Oh, oh look, yeah, see, uh, that's uh, that's some good secondary uh, work on the flipper. There. Yep. Oh, didn't quite get the forehand, but oh, a couple of night, <laughs> a couple little inlines just for the fun of it. And here we all go. All right. All set for a nice okay. backhand. There he goes. Good shot. Excellent. So let's see if he uh, tries to get some uh, venom. Yeah, you know, here. sometimes you'll see here players just dump the balls and keep taking uh, upper flipper shots at venom. During the ball save, oh, that's a good thought. But, uh, uh, and now Robert. here he get one, gets one by default. There's uh, another attempt. So that's room to dump it, but isn't going to go for that. So here's an upper flipper feed. Nice shot. Let's see if we get uh, DMD's going to tell us. Nope. And almost there. He's got the uh, there he is. regular left ramp flipped for a venom shot. Robert's going for locks instead. He could, you know, you can backhand that left ramp pretty yeah. uh, safely. Uh, uh, ball two locks. He's trapped up. He's going to get an upper flipper feed. I think he's doing the right thing. And up. Uh, little miss there. Uh, I think that was intentional. I think he was shooting the lock from the upper flipper, which he can do if you go a little late. He needs one more hit on it to uh, get that third lock and have black suit available. Let's see here if he gets it. Oh, that should show us. Nope, it's only going to show us what's going on. 
All right, so you know, the mount, the fusion mount, uh, the fusion super is not really relevant here for other things going on. Uh, no, uh, shooting that left ramp, getting venom, or perhaps that lock target. I would go for venom. Uh, I think is the right choice. So here he's going for uh, venom feed. And yep. Very nice shot. Yeah, the ball didn't hang up on the gate, so that was a good adjustment. Don't know how much more uh, venom he needs. Yeah, it's not giving us the status on that, but he's got a got a few hits in, so he's, he's getting pretty close. Oh, that was very clever. Tried a little. Uh, oh, 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 god! That was a nice little flip. Yeah, didn't really see any. Uh, oh, he gets the venom on the trying to get that ball to stop. Yeah, I didn't uh, see him really move the the machine much at all there on those two warnings. That was. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting though. That uh, tilt bob after uh, after Andre just must be uh, still swinging in there. Yeah, it very well could have been because I uh, didn't see much uh, movement from Robert there. But great, great for Robert Trev up there. Let that tilt bob settle a little bit before he uh, continues. Ooh, and, uh, very nice. Yep, uh, kind of a funky uh, cradle separation, but it worked out. <laughs> There's a <laughs> power in lane for now, you. I, oh, but to I, the I want to say Robert's going for Green Goblin there, which baffles me. I'm not sure if he understood yet. That, that, did he, does he know that he has it finished for battle, or what? Uh, you know, I think he might have been going for the lock. Oh, and there's the drain on ball three. Unlucky. Pretty big bonus. Uh, so Robert's going to finish up at $105 million. Uh, solidly in second place at the moment. Uh, let's get a multi-ball for Jim. Is that too much to ask on Spider-Man? see some some love here. Uh, Jim took last in the quarterfinals on Spider-Man with a few million points, and uh, he's got his work cut out for him even to catch Andre for third right now. Yep, he's going to have to play his, uh, his fusion. And, oh, and some, wow. some pilot <laughs> error, and yep, Jim, that's your score right up there. <laughs> three million. So Jim uh, will finish at three million. And remember what I said. Jim taking a zero in the first game is not exactly what you necessarily want to see happen. Yeah, Jim Jim pretty much got the big rip off there. Um, oh, no. And uh, <laughs> there goes uh, Josh. Oh, no, that's wow. right. It's coming down the middle. and it's So done. that's uh, this is the second Spider-Man game we've seen with uh, Battle Royale lit on ball three, yeah. and yet no one has pulled the trigger on it. No no opportunity for an uh, outlane save, though. Despite the outlanes being lit, yes. <laughs> I think Josh is probably going to be okay. Uh, Andre would need to have a really excellent uh, ball to come back on him. Uh, it would be great to see, uh, but yeah. that was unlucky, and I know Josh is going to be uh, thinking about that. Yeah, I mean, Andre would have to go through at least all of his Doc Ox and a couple black suits to be in contention here. And with the way the tilt is on this, I just I don't see it happening. But uh, I don't know. Let's, Let's, see. Let's see if he can oh. get into He's got his mode lit. He's, uh, Look, he started a mode. Yeah. And, uh, that was see. surprising. Oh, there's another oh, uh, flip danger. Uh, is it going to He's playing on pins and needles. Uh, okay. He's just got to keep his hands off the cabinet. You can see Andre's body language change and the way he's holding the game. Uh, and he just wants to get it trapped and wait. He can, just wants to get a hold of it. <laughs> okay. All right, he can settle down. He hasn't tilted. it. Oh, uh, nothing, you can, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Same exact drain Josh had there. And, uh, wow. Uh, interesting game. Two players uh, really not getting much ball time. And uh, a couple other and very that was, good games. You know, in the quarters, both Andre and Jim uh, took third and fourth in their group, although they went on to uh, make it through on the group. And uh, Robert and Josh, who did quite well on Spider-Man in their quarters, uh, came back and did quite well again. And they certainly looked more comfortable on the game. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it's amazing. It's such a punishing game the way it's set up. You can see uh, two extremely talented players just having very short ball times um, and really just not uh, not having any luck to get control of the ball. Um, but uh, then again, we saw the uh, Battle Royale lit, ready to go. Still couldn't, uh, couldn't cash it in. I wonder if we're going to see a Battle Royale this uh, pop or not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, that was a great start to this, and uh, please stand by, and uh, I believe the next game will be on Family Guy, and we'll see uh, how this group uh, continues on. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.